Welcome to the Big Issues. Such an ironic title. Um, especially seeing as I've got nothing planned to talk about today, so I'm just going to talk about what's on my mind. The reason I haven't been on um, on uploading videos is because I've been really busy. Well, more lazy than busy. Okay, not busy at all. I've just been lazy, alright? Fuck you. I've been lazy. Soz. So I'm going to skip straight ahead to talk about my day today. Uh, we had a party last night, which I'll tell you about. Um, some crazy goings on. Uh, getting home at about 1am and not being able to sleep till gone 4 o'clock. And then having to get up at 6 for work is a fucking joke. Honest to God, I could not be arsed this morning. I work at the Stafford Hospital as a cleaner. And um, it's alright, it's fucking good pay, but it's horrible. Um, I've seen people with their arm off coming into A&E and things like that. Um, so it's, it's a bit weird, but getting up at that time is just stupid. So what I want to know is, does anyone have an earlier start time than me? 6am for work on a Saturday and Sunday morning, no lions on a weekend. Does anyone else do that? Because it, it just feels like me. And it's depressing walking to work in the cold. So is there anyone else that's like me and has to get up at that time? If so, post a comment down there and uh, subscribe. I don't know which way it is. Just, there's either a button on either side. Um, just click it. You know where it is. So yeah, there's my mate's party. Um, Sleb's party. Steve Lewis. Legend. Um, there was a strange going on with two people we wouldn't have expected to... Um, be having fun, let's say. Uh, me and my um, good friend Harry Price um, went on the hunt as we heard a rumour that two people were having sex. So, uh, as we are, um, you know, a bit weird, we went to have a look and weren't disappointed when walking round the corner of a building saw someone fucking someone on the floor on on a cold evening on concrete floor and you know I won't be able to look at the guy the same because I saw his little peachy ass. so that was weird um, other than that pretty much a normal night you know um, yeah you can really tell I've not prepared anything because this is just shit just close, close the window now there's no point watching Okay, so um, now I'm going to skip straight into one of my new segments, which I'm going to keep up, I think, each week, because, you know, I think it's quite funny. I mean, you may not, but I don't care. I really don't care. I do care. Please subscribe. So this is Animal News. Oh, chimpanzee that animal news, you cunt. So here we are, animal news for you. Um, police in South Africa are blaming a gang of at least 350 baboons for countless burglaries, thefts and vandalism. Okay. Dissecting the story, um, 350 baboons in a gang just wandering about South Africa. It says here that they had weapons, so I'm, I'm presuming guns, knives, basal bats, bazookas. Probably not a bazooka. But it definitely says that they had guns and that they were led by uh, a man, Dr. Peter Kirsch, who's been arrested for it. He, um, he like, drove them about in a van and just dropped them off at houses and just robbed them. But three, how has he trained 350 baboons to rob people? It's, I don't get it. I also don't get what's in it for the baboons. Because they're not going to want jewellery, are they? They're not going to see a blinged out baboon. Just wandering about with a AK, just just chilling. He'll the man will get all of it. Doctor Peter Kirsch, he'll get everything. So I'm thinking that the baboons have just got shitloads of bananas in the in the uh, little lorry, whatever he is that he's carting them about in. So there you go, bit of a weird story. That was animal news. Oh, chimpanzee, that animal news, you cunt. Okay, so I do realise it hasn't been much of a um, a return to the vlog, but um, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen 
Uh, I hope you subscribe over there, or again over there. I'm still not sure which way it is, because, I don't know, it's flipped when it's on YouTube, so I'm not very good with that. Um, but, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, before I go, here's my tip of the day. Thanks for watching The Big Issues with me, Noah Platts. Take care. No, it's tip of the fucking day. Never Google search the word jockstrap. <laughs>